Right, hello, I'm Mr. Peach UK and welcome to my channel. Um, I've essentially already done some of this, but um, this live stream, I'm just going to have a bit of fun with it. Um, I'm going to basically just be playing Resident Evil. Um, and I'm going to be playing um, it the way I want to play it. I'm going to enable God Mode on it. Um, I know that not everyone likes cheats, so if you don't like cheats, it's probably better that you're not here. I've said it before on my other videos. I've completed this multiple times, um, both on standard and on hardcore, and I've done it for my partner, and I've got the platinum trophies, so I can't sit there and say, oh, that's the only way you can get the, the trophies, and I, this is on my account now, and I've already done it legitimately on another um, platform, so... Um, it's up to me how I play it. That being said, got that over and done with. Um, I attempted to do this a little bit earlier and made a balls off of it. Um, so I'm not going to redo the whole start of this. Um, I've saved it at the very first box, as you can see. That's still that's still thing me. I haven't actually gone under the shutter just yet. It still says keep out. Not that it ever not says keep out, but I haven't haven't opened it yet. So. Um, essentially, let me just double check that this is working. There's nothing else that seemed to want to work for me today. Um, da, da, da. Yep, that'll do it. Right, um, so I've got to here and I saved it. And then I tried to do some editing. Right, so it's essentially a saved game editor that I'm using. Um, now... I attempted to edit in the um, attempted to edit in the um, magnum, but it wasn't happening. <laughs> As I made the balls up of it, uh, freely hold my hands up there. I completely screwed that right up. Um, but to save anyone having to wait and watch me rehash it all. Here's everything I've got in my inventory. This is the fruits of my labours on my last save edit. Um, as you can see, I've only got these in my um, in my inventory. The first one is um, f these are the quick edit uh, cheats that work. So this gave me maximum ink ribbons, as I had one in here. But you need one to start with. Um, this one gave maximum handgun ammo because I had five in there previously. I went and grabbed it from upstairs. Um, and the other cheat changes any healing items. So I had one green herb and I had one um, first aid spray. That changes them into mixed herbs, green, red and blue. We're not going to need that for this run through whatsoever. Um, and as you can see on the right here, I also enabled... The maximum inventory space is so that's just going to make life a lot more easier and a lot more fun for me to play this game through again without having to find every i'm going to find them all anyway i'm going to do it all in the order that it should be done in just in case anyone would like to see the order that things probably should be done in someone tell me that it could be done better probably but we'll see and as you can see we've only got the matilda handgun so what we usually do um, is we'll so you save it, you put one in the box, uh, your ribbons, you get two ribbons when you first come in here, put one in the box and then you put go to the typewriter and then use the other one on the typewriter. Once you've saved it, you then want to, I'm going to just turn this off for a second, so keep my deets private. Um, probably somewhere on this channel to be honest but rather right so and we go to application saved data management so I'm going to put that back on so you can see it that's in settings um, application saved data management and then what you do from there um, there's no point me doing it from here but you click on that and then you click on that will that will close that that's fine save data in system storage Copy to USB storage device. In fact, let me just show you it anyway. I'm not going to do it because I've actually got... Um, I've actually already edited my save. To save you having to watch what I'm doing. Um, you go to copy to USB storage device. It might not have loaded in yet. 
fellas. There you go, Resident Evil. And then slot 3, save data Leon, because it's slot 3 we saved it in. Uh, you take that and then you go to copy. I'm not going to do it in this case because I've already done it. And then from there, what you usually do is you connect it up to your computer. And this bit of software costs $60. Uh, I can safely say it works and it's not a scam because I was crapping it the first time I used it. I thought, no, my luck, this is probably a scam. It's not. Um, so, let's, um, there's the computer. As you can see, we have Resident Evil 2. It auto detects it once you've got it loaded up. There we go. So, you have to name your profile and everything when you first start off. I've named it, um, I've just named it Peach UK. Basically, you can name it whatever you like. You can call it flipping test one, two, three for all you like, but just named it that. And then I went to advanced mode for this. And I'm, I can load it up. Um, all you're going to see is a bunch of hexadecimal, a hell of a lot of it. And that's the mode where you can essentially, you can go into the item box and you can spawn in whatever you like um, based on certain codes. And there's lists of codes out there that you can see um, what the item IDs are and various other things. So I've, I've got a list there. I use that and I've spawned in um, the Magnum, the two Magnum upgrades. I've put in uh, some Magnum ammo, some fuel for later, you don't come across tons of it. Um... What else? I put in a load of hand grenades and I put in a bunch of flashbangs just because it might be fun. Might be able to get that trophy for the taking lim limbs off of zombies. Give that a go. Um, I don't think I've put anything else in. Uh, so I'm just going to collect the rest as we go. There's no point me spawning in key items or anything like that. As that will just completely defeat the object of going through the game. Um, so... I've done all that because that takes a good maybe 10-15 minutes and that's 10-15 minutes I don't want you guys to have to sit through again especially if it doesn't work so I'm gonna to go to quick mode this time um, there we go and I'm gonna use the quick mode um, cheats so I'm gonna reset the saved amount I don't need to do max ring, uh, max ink ribbons because I did that previously, which is why it says nine 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 nine. I don't want to do that again. I don't want to change all healing items to GRB herbs. I've already got that. Max ammo. I might as well do handgun ammo, magnum ammo, shotgun ammo. Not that I've got any of that yet. It won't. It won't do it as it appears in my box. But I have tried to spawn some shotgun ammo in as well. Actually, I think so. Just on the off chance I didn't put in the right amount. That should cover it. Uh, records. Reset game timer. Reset item box usage. Uh, usage. Reset recovery item usage. And reset steps. Now, I always do these anyway. But that one. Um, I might want to save it right at the end of the game. And then reapply these records. Um, and that will mean that you can get your trophy. If you haven't already got it. Um... 20 slots inventory, I'm going to enable that anyway, but I've already got that, as you can see. Max health first character, max health second character. That's what's going to make this a little bit more fun for me, because I'm not going to die all the time. Um, as I just want to blitz through it and have a laugh, really. Like, if you wanted to see a proper hardcore mode run through, there's tons of YouTubers out there that have probably got it on their channels and there's probably plenty that have left in their deaths and stuff like that and there'll be multiple of them because hardcore mode is ridiculously difficult um, but that's that done, click apply now proceed you see this little box in the corner by the way, this sort of like greyed out rectangle like in the corner up there that's where the chats might will appear if anyone actually bothers communicating with me <laughs> basically so won't we uh if anyone actually sends me a message it'll pop up on the screen so 
Oh, I don't know about you guys, but um, right. So okay, once that's applied, just okay that off, and I'm gonna get rid of that. Close that down, and let's put it back into the PS4. <sighs> And this time we want to do the opposite. Um, as I was saying, yeah. Um, any, I, I don't know about you guys. When you're watching live streams in hindsight after the fact, uh, after the fact, after it's happened, um, if I'm watching it on the telly or something, I can't see the comments that the person is responding to. So unless I read the comment out and then respond to it, I can't tell what it is they're responding to. Sometimes, so. I've found a way of putting it on the screen, which will make it a bit easier for anyone in hindsight to understand what it is I'm talking about. Right, so once you've done that on the computer, plug it back into your PS4, your USB device, and then you want to copy to system storage. And mine is slot 3, and copy that across, and that's in the system storage. Once you've done that, we'll navigate back to your game. So for that, I'm going to come back in there. Open the game. Go. And I recently just bought the um, the DLC as well for this. So I might see if I can enable that on a load game instead of having to do it from the start that would be quite good um. go ah oh, I bugged up Jamie <laughs> That's essentially what happened. Um, not gonna lie about that. Completely screwed up. Um, the actual. There we go. The. When I did the advanced mode, I must have put them into the blank slots in between, and then when I went back into the game, none of the items were there, and it took far too long to have to like show you guys all over again. So. I done all the hard work in the background and just thought I'd just sort of gloss over it a little bit quicker than having to watch me edit hexadecimal again. So hopefully this time when I load in, it will have worked. Hopefully, because otherwise I'd give up and I'm just going to disappear and never live stream again. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm hoping this works. I've got it to work for, before for me, but obviously when you're trying to do something live, it's bound to bugger up. So let's have a look. Hello, there we are. Lightning Hawk, Mag Ammo, Red Dot Sight, Long Barrel, Shotgun Cell, Fuel, Mag Ammo, Hand Grenades, and that's the DLC item that I got there. So it worked, yes, for a change. Right, you can either take out 20 at a time, but that's fine. It just gives you an unlimited little supply nearly in your inventory. I don't need the fuel yet, but I'll get it later. I probably will, Jamie, eventually. Um, but I'm not in a rush, put it that way. Um, I'm not in a rush because it's... It just takes up too much of my time. Far too much of my time. Playing something like this, so I can essentially just... Um, I can just toss about on it at my, at my own leisure. I don't need to worry too much about... Um, you know, grinding anything out. Uh, it's up to me how much time I spend on it. Whereas WoW's a bit different, it kind of suckers you in a little bit. So... That actually worked, as you can see. Um, let me change what sh shortcut is for that. I like to have that at the top. Lovely. Done. 
And we should not have that yet, technically. So, is there... Oh, costumes. Well, I can, I can change it. Ooh, Sheriff or Noir. If you're still watching, pick me one. Which one are we going with? I'll give you a couple of minutes for that to actually sink in. Or a minute or something. I don't know which one I like more. I'll let, I'll let you pick Jamie if you're watching. Oh, is it in a bad place still? It kind of got to it like in a bad place as I was leaving it. Um, and I don't know, I just couldn't be bothered. Sheriff. We'll go with Sheriff. I was thinking about that myself, actually, so good choice. Um, right, yeah, let's go over that then, shall we? Return. Hey, okay. I think... Can, how do we change the... Ah. Let's go with the original soundtrack, shall we? I've just unlocked this stuff, so. Excellent. Means to get a little bit of music in the background rather than it just being dead silent and you're listening to me drone on. Okay, let's do this. So, I technically have got God Mode on right now. So, this could be a laugh. And do some silly things. If I can think of silly things to do. Oh, I'm crawling. See, that's the point. I'm crawling across blood. And I ain't got any on me. But anyway. Uh, Joe's got a good mate. Um, yeah, no, nothing to report. Like, nothing much has really changed in that department. How's life treating you, mate, other than well? You got this. <laughs> Kim giving himself a pep talk. You got this. See this this zombie never actually gets up, but just because I want to. I'll do it. Gotta put the lights on, don't you? Otherwise you just can't see what you're doing and it's too scary. Game's scary. I don't know, it's not actually right. I am absolutely crap at scary games. I am really bad at them. I'm like a big wuss. Whereas with this, I haven't been too bad. Like my my partner Danielle, she would completely back me up in the fact that I'm a big wuss. <laughs> on this. It's actually, um, it's actually Danielle that got me more into it. I always did like Resident Evil, um, and I always did like Silent Hill, but I wasn't really that good at them because I always got a little bit too freaked. So, um, I had a tendency to not play them as often. Um, but yeah, she would 100% back me up um, when I say that I'm a big worse on on scary games. So that's not the way to get my help, mate. You sound like a complete knob. In fact, just give me a notebook, actually, mate. Ooh, yummy. Officer's notebook. I do little doodles and stuff. And that's nice. Alright, it's actually got the 
It's actually got the thing. Oh, I've never even noticed that. I'm gonna just take this one's leg off because I can. <laughs> oh yeah. Technically, I wonder. No, it doesn't let you do that. He does actually come back for you later. I've never actually tried shooting him at this point. Wow, classic. Now, I've, I haven't actually been tempted by WoW Classic whatsoever. The, the reason I say that is because I was there for the original WoW Classic. Oh, actually, ooh, that was terrible. I was there for the original WoW. Wow, that's some dramatic music. Um, and... Uh, I don't really feel like I'll need to go through that trauma again. No, it was good at the time, but to be honest, I think some of the videos I've watched are actually quite accurate. Like, people want WoW Classic, but they're also going to want to see, uh, want to still have some of those, like, quality of life um, things that there are in the game now. Um... And to be honest, no matter how much the original WoW felt a bit more like a challenge, um, and I enjoyed it a lot, I don't think I would want to have to go through what I went through back then again, if that makes any sense. I think it's good nostalgically um, to think about WoW Classic, uh, like WoW as it was in, in its heyday. And I can understand that a lot of people would play it, um, but it's probably not for me at all, to be honest. What about yourself? Are you going to get WoW Classic or have you got it? Or I, I don't even know if it's out, to be honest yet. I, I've not even kept up to date with that. Just pause it on that for a second for anyone that hasn't done this before. That is the code. I just get it out of the way and kill this dude now. But you can't. But still. Elliot was right, mate. Yeah. Yeah. The Who's Elliot? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to store that. Mm, I'll keep that on me. I'm going to store that. Store that. <laughs> yeah, I'll store that, but I need it to open the next bit, you doofus. I'm too used to, like, keeping inventory space that I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of stuff that I sometimes need. Ah, oh, does it? I thought you'd have to pay for it separately or something. Seems like the kind of thing that companies do these days, like, oh, here's like a remastered, funny enough, I'm playing a remastered version right now, here's a remastered or, or whatever version of something you've already paid for, um, let's charge them again. I do understand, I guess, because, I mean, something like this, for example, they've just overhauled the entire game, like, I might as well have just started from scratch, like, even though it's the same game, it's very very different I mean it's it's in a whole new format for a new new age so to speak so um, I, I could quite I'm quite happy to pay the money for this actually it was actually my partner who loves Resident Evil 1 and I do and um, that said oh, I'll wait until it's lower in price but we've both actually really enjoyed this are you gonna come through that window anytime soon Take your arms off. No, you still. Oh, no, it's off. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, okay. That's a pretty hefty magnum if you can just split a person in half if you shoot them. I didn't even know you could do that. Well, learn something new every day, I say, and I certainly did there. Uh, Okay. There's a little something in the corner here. And then you grab this thing off the desk here. Uh, I've actually been playing a mobile game, of all things. Uh, I've been playing uh, Star Trek Fleet Command, so I like my Star Trek. I've been made um, Admiral of our Alliance, and we're second on the server. Oh, good. We're uh, we're a strong bunch. It's quite good. Sort of like I don't know how to describe it. It's meant to be a bit strategic, I suppose. But I don't know. I don't know how much real stra strategy is involved. To be quite honest with you. Ooh, a little bit of brain on the top of the vendy there. Just take your legs off, mate. And watch you crawl about for a little while. You've been playing anything else, Jamie? Apologies for not streaming for ages, by the way. You're like, one of the only people that actually watches my my live streams. I feel like I've let you down a little bit, but... Um, I don't know, it's just not been... I've, I've been too busy with work, to be honest. And... Most of the time I just spend time with my missus or, like, outside of work, so I don't have to do all the time to, uh, to, uh, to live stream or do anything. I don't even get much. I was saying yesterday, I've got games that I was bought for Christmas, like, 2017, that I haven't played yet, and I went to play them yesterday, and because they're quite meaty games, like, they're, they're going to take a little bit of, um, like there's free roaming or they're a little bit too involved. Um, uh, what's this one again? Uh, Ned. Um, and they're a little bit too involved. I've just put them back down again straight away. And I was going to play them and I just, I was like, oh, it's, but I'm going to want to play it loads and then I haven't got the time. Um, and I end up just not bothering. Oh, I've got that one already. There's a Mr. Raccoon there, guys. Usually, but I've already shot it. Um, I have a good thing about this, in case anyone doesn't already know, that um, places stay red if you haven't found the items in it yet. If you've been there, but you haven't found everything. So, Yeah, Star Trek is good. Like, have, you, have you watched the old ones, Jamie? Or is it a new one? Or... You just mean the game. I've I've watched Star Trek all my life. I love Star Trek. I better go and block this dude out before he smashes through that window. I've been watching the new series on Netflix. I've watched the last season as it was airing. Um, I was I can't say I was overly excited about season two, but um, season two has turned out alright. I'm pretty impressed actually. I always forget that I have to press circle <laughs> every time. I don't think there's any more I can unlock just yet. 102, 103, I can't do those yet. 106. What we need. 109. Come back to that later. 208, can't do that. 203, can't do that. Cool, okay. Good. Yeah, I've always liked Star Trek. I sort of grew up watching the next generation, so um, 
that was sort of my childhood. <laughs> and then watch the original series, and then Voyager, and have, sorry, not then Voyager, and then do Space Nine, and then Voyager, and etc. and so on. Um, and. Yeah, I, I like them all in their own ways. I never used to like Enterprise very much, but that grew on me as well. Don't need that. In fact, it's... Just in case anyone isn't already aware, by the way, um, you can't use infinite weapons to unlock any other infinite weapons, um, as far as I know. Maybe the knife, eventually. Um, but I'm not sure on that. Um, so that's why I'm not using any infinite weapons. And you also need to do it in under... I think it's three and a half hours for one of them and two and a half for the other one. Come on, that was a magnum blast, man. That should have gone straight through him and all. You're going to smash this so that I can smash you. I'll come back for you later, buddy. Cool. Uh, shoot this cheeky boy. <coughs> <laughs> they wiggle funny when they haven't got their arms. What about this? Ah, oh, the Magnum's too strong. When I haven't got any limbs, they kind of just body shuffle over to you, which is kind of amusing. See how absolutely terrible I am at this. Right, okay. Right, so it's like one, four, five, one, four, five. Okay. One, four, five. Ooh. One, four, one, four, five, eight. Where was that one? Nope. One, four, five, eight. Nope. Seven, one, four, five, eight. Ooh. Damn it. Seven, one, four, five, eight. Not it. I've done it better. <laughs> It's completely random, it's not the same every single time with that, by the way, so you can't load that up online or anything like that. Steely boys. Uh, that one's cat. It's in the shower cat. That's how my missus made me remember that one. So in the shower rooms, shower cat. This one has got a sneaky boy inside. Um, that's all we can do in here for now. Yeah. I can always hear a dude, like, getting all Larry around here. I don't know if it's I'm hearing the dude downstairs again. I'm not sure. This one is D, C, M. It's like Devil May Cry, but the C and the M are all the way around. I think I saw that somewhere. Key on the desk. Nice little silhouette from that statue there. Nice and creepy. Lovely. <laughs> uh, what the? Boy. Uh, I have completed this. I don't know. <laughs> about at least four, at least four or five times, at least. Um. And that's just this guy. Like, there's an A and a B mode. I don't know if you've played it. There's an A and, a and a B campaign uh, for both Claire and Leon. Um, 
So I've done it at least four times, but I know that I've done the A campaign like more than once per character. So I'm I'm hazarding like A and B campaigns are really quite similar. Um so about six times maybe. But it's only like a couple of hours per run through, so it sounds like a lot, but it's not really. Like the, the actual uh, the actual amount of time played is probably only less. It's less than a day, really. If you total it all up, which is why I'm playing this at the minute, I think, because it's it doesn't take long to get a result. Copy that. I'll be right there. I saw someone do something mental on this, by the way. Like uh, I'm gonna see if I can recreate it, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. This is where I can, and I forget where I'm going. What? Are you running away? Where are you going? I'll come around this side, then. Why are you being awkward with me, woman? Up here. See, if I recreate this and I don't know where I'm going, I'm going to get annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically a glitch, right? And but you clip through, you clip through a wall. Um, and when I was trying to do it, I couldn't do it. I think they were standing about here. Oh, she died. Must have been an important leg. <laughs> After all that, she died. Wakey wakey! I'm about some more luck with you, pal. Come. Up, uh, up, uppy, uppy, ah. Uh. Oh, wow, these zombies, man. You're meant to be hardcore, like, you're meant to be smart. Did you? I couldn't make these zombies fall over if I wanted to, do you know that? And then when I actually want him to come up here. Right, let me bring you over here then, since you're struggling with this concept. I've got cookies here, I'm tempted to just have a cookie while I'm waiting for this food. Chocolate chip. did not work so essentially yes it is a really good game Jamie essentially what happens usually like on the video that I saw is that the zombie grabs you and it's sort of the animation sort of glitches you into the air a bit oh cheeky boy uh, glitches you into the air a bit like the actual level of detail is quality by the way look at all like, the blood it's leaving everywhere it sort of glitches you into the air and then you can walk across the air and then click through the walls. It's, it's a bit mental. So, nah, it's not working. Anyway, there's a video of someone doing it. It's, uh, it's pretty fun. Something having a little chow down around the corner here. Oh. 
interest in positioning. Oh. Oh, it's right there the other way up. Okay, cheeky. Alright. I always move these. It's not quite finished. You can't finish this just yet. But I always move these before you end up with Mr. X chasing you. If you've not played this, by the way, Jamie, or played the original, Mr. X um, is... <laughs> Mr. X is terrifying for most people that play this game. Um... Because Mr. X likes to um, smack you really, really hard and make your life living hell. And he also likes to mock you as well as he does this little hat tipping thing when, when he's just gone and smashed you in the face. Which is always funny. Right, I think this one's fish, scorpion and jug. Brain like a sponge sometimes. Also, brain like a sieve at other times, so we'll see. I've got everything in the library, I have. Oh, I like how it's got the original um, menu, like inventory sounds as well there. Do do do. You're gonna die, mate. I might as well just shoot there him. You are. Come here. Take a look. Nope. Got places to be, buddy, buddy boy. One left. Um, let's unlock this first. And then. I don't need to go in there as I was actually in that room earlier. Um, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna store that. I'm gonna store that. I'm gonna store that. I'm gonna store that. I need that. Store that. Store that. And that should be enough inventory space. Now this looks easy because I've basically just spawned myself in a magnum and I'm just taking the piss out of these zombies to be honest, but hardcore mode is ridiculously difficult um, when you're doing it properly and you have not got infinite ammo. Um, I should actually bring the Matilda in, I think I already opened this earlier on, yeah I did. Um, I should actually use the normal handgun for a while and show you just how many headshots it takes, or leg shots. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab the uh, handgun the next opportunity I'll get and show you guys um, and you, Jamie, if you've not played it before, um, just how difficult it is to put a zombie down. Um, and it doesn't just go for hardcore mode either. Um, it's uh, it's sort of universal across all of the modes. Uh, the zombies... The zombies... Um, don't die very easily in this game. They don't die from headshots unless you're lucky enough to get a crit. Um, very wow terminology, but if you get a critical hit on its head, um, there's like a small percent chance that it will happen when you hit them in the head. Um, then the head explodes like it has been with the Magnum. Uh, but with any other weapon other than the Magnum, it's complete um, percentage chance for it to happen, which is quite a low percentage chance. Um, so yeah, uh, hitting them in the body and hitting them in the head can very much do the same amount of damage under normal circumstances. I always just want to see its finger do like the middle finger, just flip the finger when it does that. That would be quite funny. Um, so yeah, a lot of the time it's actually more beneficial to shoot the... Um, zombies in the legs and just run past them to save yourself ammo. But the problem is, is that if you leave zombies in certain areas that you need to run back through later, um, that can build up a little bit and get a little bit obnoxious um, to deal with. So I'll show you what I mean when it comes to. Um, I'll show you what it means when it comes to uh, the handgun stuff in a minute. 
It's, it's the handgun you've got. You probably use the most, um, at least at first. Marvin, do you copy? Marvin! Damn it! Come on. Alright, mate. Let's see if I can get this guy to come round. Yo, buddy boy. Oh, he's, he's not ready for coming and flying bow, is he? I was hoping to buy some limbs off there, but that'll do. What you've got to remember as well when you're doing this is that um, the item slots as well, um, the management of your inventory is quite annoying. I mean, I've got every item slot available, but you have to do a lot of juggling um, of your items and good inventory management throughout this game. Um, good use of the item boxes. There's actually a trophy as well for um, doing it without using the item box, which surely you're going to do after all the other ones are done, um, because... Um, doing it on one of the normal runs, like the normal... Um, hardcore or standard modes is pretty much impossible. You need to use your inventory, uh, your item box to help get rid of the clutter. Um, but if you're doing like an easy run where you've got like an infinite rocket launcher or something like that and you don't need um, all the consumables then um, you can probably do that. Um, no issues. So. I'm going to leave that handgun ammo right, just to show you, we'll get the Matilda out. Uh, let's store that. Store that, store that, store those. Store that. It's your standard handgun, right? Hmm. I forgot I've uh, I'm moving to take some magnum ammo out. I've got a big mag bit magnum happy lately bullets of it. Uh, do I need red jewel yet? No. Let's get the Matilda out again. Don't usually come down here yet. Yeah, no, I don't need to. Right, okay. I have now got this. I'm trying to make, I always always do it at this point. Safety deposit room. I think I've got to go back to what was the last key item I just picked up I've actually lost my train of thought <laughs> ah showers showers room that's where I'm going I can actually go through this room now I may pick up a couple of things on the way so 
Alright, let's put this one in first. Gets rid of one of these. And let's go to O. Is it too alright? Can't do 203. I'm not sure if there's any others. I think there's one, maybe 102. Is that a thing? Yeah, it is. stuff I just picked up in this item box. It's just gonna stew up my inventory. Ah, oh, idiot. One of the main things you should be doing at this point as well, um, once you've got the valve to go back up the stairs um, into the shower room, is go and grab the shotgun. Because in normal circumstances, in a normal playthrough, which obviously this is not, um, we don't really need this boy. The shotgun. Because there's a liquor up the stairs. Not just yet, there's not, but there is. Ah, shut it. This dude never, ever, ever attacks you, but I'll do that anyway. He does fall off that usually. Get some of these steely boys. I'm actually going to show you, because I've not actually done it yet, that um, I do have God Mode activated, because nothing's actually hit me. Until now. Have a grenade, buddy boy. Shit. Bon appetit. Right, there we go. So, as you can see, that didn't do any damage to me. I've got two trophies for that. That's good. Um. And that's why you need the shotgun at that point. You don't actually have grenades at that point, by the way, so that also is not something you can usually do. But I had one, I used it. Now in the stars office. You'll come back here later for the Magnum, which is what I spawned in. You see it's in that locker at the end in there. Um, technically that means I can have two magnums in this run through. Certain other things, certain other items disappear when you spawn them into the game I noticed but for some reason the guns don't. I'm not sure what possible reason you would want two magnums is unless you want to switch between magnums if you're in a pinch. I don't know. Um, you can't use this just yet. Yeah, it's on the wall, so right, but we'll come back here later. I think we've got everything we can for the minute from this room. I think. I'm not going through it just yet, but I'm going to unlock it. That leads back to the library and that statue where we got the um, where we got the medallion. The key item in that room was picking up the battery on the desk because you combine it with the detonator which we obviously did not get. Idiot. Where do we get the detonator again? I'm 
trying to th think. I don't remember having to go through there though. Don't know. I'll check it out. Alright, so we'll go back around. Um, I've done this that many times that I'm starting to forget. It's all becoming a bit of a blur. I'm starting to forget which rooms have got which items in. We do come back down here. So really you should come down here first and then do the other bit. This is the actual reason I kept the boards because later on um, if you run down here like for any reason you've got Mr. X after you I, I like to board up those windows. There's high vis boy. Oh wow, good. Oh. <laughs> He's having a little dance, isn't he? I love the intensity of the music right now. Technically, when you when you pick up the um, battery in the star's office you should just be able to immediately combine it with a detonator um, however I did not pick up the detonator first so remember you climbed through we climbed through that hole earlier on this time we're going to cut these and there's the detonator so technically you should come around this way first Cut the items in the room, pick up the boards, get rid of the cutters as you don't need them anymore. And then you go up to the star's office and then you combine those. Unlock this door. See, and then this is when you go up to the star's office and get your shotgun first and that. That's the quicker way to do it without backtracking like I just did. Um, you go through the shower room, through to the star's office, get what you need, come back through the shower room and then go up the stairs. Unlike what I just did. <laughs> so I hope that no one uses this as like a, a walkthrough, so, so to speak, because that... I apologise if I've just caused you to backtrack. Right, and then get the hell back. Oh, I was meant to show Matilda. Right, this one always confuses the heck out of me because you can't really see them properly. But I think it's woman's face. Mm, ram. I'm just gonna keep hitting to her. Do you know what? There's that notebook. Woman's face, bow. I think that's the bow. And then the snake. That's it. It's hard to see behind all the distortedness. Um, and now you get a licky boy come through. I'm just going to magnum in this time, I think. this out of the way Lovely. it's 
So yeah, the library is quite an important place on this, to be honest, because you have to come back for it later on. Um, now we've got what we kind of need. There's an item box in there, so we don't need to visit the one just behind him. He's not looking too good. Let's just put him out of his misery, as I keep saying. There we go. Now it's time to do our first boss. So what every police station needs. It goes underground. Secret underground room. Apparently it used to be a museum which kind of kind of makes more sense if every museum's got weird underground secret places, but I don't know how many museums have got that. either to be fair. I'm gonna show you how many shots it takes to put down a zombie if I remember at some point. my partner back on whatsapp yeah. I had a feeling not many people would watch this actually um, at the time I don't think a lot of people like cheating at, like, and I understand it like it sort of devalues the achievement but I've already played it a bunch of times and I'm quite enjoying just running through it um, First boss. I'll let some of this play out from here on in so it gets a little bit more interesting. that hard when you got a freaking magnum you'll see that in a second but he can uh, he can he can be irritating to put down if you're just relying on the weapons you should have at this point hi Ryan how you doing mate Thanks for joining by the way. I never expect many people to join my live streams, I don't do it very often. Like Alright, so for anyone that um, is doing this properly, uh, when you're fighting him, there are a bunch of uh, items in each corner of this. It's, I would call it a maze, but it's not really that difficult to navigate. There's a bunch of handgun ammo, there's a grenade in the corner. It's sort of... Uh, it's. A, I'm trying to, I'll show you, there you go, see, it's not that hard to navigate, it's sort of corners where there's ammo and things, um, and then some pathways in, in the middle that in, like connect to them, it's not that hard, uh, but if you need ammo and stuff like that, you just kind of keep kiting him around um, and keep your distance and, and popping shots off at him, but you really need to make sure you save enough ammo for it. I've seen people actually do it with a knife, like infinite knife, I think. 
Um, but obviously you need the infinite knife and balls of steel. Don't know if anyone's tried it with a knife on hardcore mode actually, that'd be interesting. help if I lowered the bridge wouldn't it or moved it sorry have you played this Ryan if you're still watching I oh, actually you've not got an eye on my actual YouTube to see who's or how many people are watching if anyone's watching about so I can see things a little bit better on my there we go I should be able to see any comments a little bit better now if anyone does speak I don't know how long that was there actually before I responded so my apologies um store 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 I'm gonna get the red gem out in a second actually stuff ready while this is playing out. <laughs> so just come back out and actually don't actually have the key card Damn. at this point. Need a key card. Oh yeah. dogs in these games, Silent Hill is a lot. Information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking, Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. Hey! Hey! Not I'm not done talking to you! Well, she disappears fast. What's up, hey. bro? I never actually listened to this dude, don't know why. Right, I can't do that yet, obviously, so I need to find things and... Let's go back. Let's go. 
straight across. I'm actually going to show you guys if anyone's actually um, going to watch this or is watching this um, what it's like with the Matilda um, trying to shoot these zombies there's a couple around the corner here to wake up. Mm, I don't really want to get night like, shoot it first if you know what I mean. I do it on one that's already awake. Because it's not like an accurate representation if I've already shot it once. See when you pick up that box and you get the car key, um, you're actually better going to do it straight away. Because depending on whether or not you want to kill a bunch of dogs or run past them, this place would be swarming with dogs. if you do it after the kennels and that's where we're headed just now we're gonna kill them because we can but to be honest like in a normal playthrough you're probably better just trying to dodge them but you're gonna have to dodge them a couple times if you if you just dodge them it's not a bad idea to shoot these while they're in their cages um, if you've got the ammo to do so in your normal run through um, like when you're actually playing through normally um, I'm obviously not um, because those ones won't come out in addition to the ones that are sort of scripted to come out um, and let's face it like the ones that come out are enough of a nuisance we don't need extras So if you've got the ability to kill them in their cages, do it before they become an actual nuisance, is my advice. Alright, so this dude wakes up. I can use... I'll do, the, I'll do the Matilda thing on him, I think, to show you. And if you combine herbs, if you've not played this before, if you combine the red, green and blue herbs, you get um, pretty much the most powerful healing agent you can get. Um, I can't remember if... Yeah, it is this dude here. If you do grab that item, put him back in, if, unless you want to waste ammo shooting him after, because he gets triggered after we deal with this and pick up the key so as soon as you pick up the key on this slab here it's going to trigger three zombies the one that you just slid in there this dude here he'll get triggered regardless so i like to and again if you haven't got the ammo don't do it but i like to uh take his limbs off just for fun because it's always quite interesting watching him get up once you've took the key when you do this. Right. So this dude always gets up and this is what I'm trying to tell you. So headshots, right? One, two, three. That's three. Four. Still taking them. Five. Six. Seven. Grab. God mode, luckily. But does that not show? So that's seven headshots, right? Is not even. Is still. Is still coming for me, right? 
Oh. Eight, nine. This is with an upgraded Matilda. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And it's finally on the floor. That was what? Was that about 16 hits in the head? Is that like. Did I count that right? 16 handgun bullets to the head on that zombie. So that's why if you're gonna if you're gonna shoot them with a handgun in this, you're better trying to take their leg off. Either that or shoot them in the face and they sort of react, but you have to shoot them and run by straight away. So you sort of shoot them in the face and they sort of react to it, but you need, you then need to run past them as they're still like dazed from it. Um, it's probably the best way to do that. Again, we've got the ammo. One, one magnum round should do it there, but I mean, on hardcore mode, I, you might actually be better just trying to ignore the, the bastards because ammo is at a premium, but you're gonna have to be. You're going to have to be quick and have a pretty good idea of the route. I would advise, I mean, there's a lot of people on on YouTube that have done really good guides on how to deal with, um, how to deal with this. Um, on hardcore mode and some of them are fantastic, so I would give them a go. Um... One. Too short. Oh, oh god, dead. Very quick. You actually get a trophy for skeet shooting if you hit one of them while they're in the air. So I bear that in mind. Probably better trying to do it on an easier difficulty though. If you kill one, why don't I think I think you need to kill him? Can't remember. Got it by accident. So technically, having put the power on, I can actually move through to the next stage. But I like to drop off this part, this power panel part, um, sort of out of habit. Really, usually it's to save inventory space and. Um, even though you could store it in a box, I guess, but then you'd have to remember to pick it up at the first available box nearest to this on the way back. That was awkward to say. Um, so once you've done that, so the good thing is, is when you use a magnum or when, when you you know when certain enemies are going to get back up again basically and none of them are going to get back up again so the next time I come through they're not going to come and give me more aggro but a lot of the zombies unless you're sure that they're dead and they're not getting back up again they will give you aggro the next time you come through um, that's sort of the way that this game's been put together almost really Such a reassuring sound that from the original soundtrack. Just, oh, you're in a safe area now. 
you can chill out for a minute. There's a raccoon behind that bag, by the way, in this room. But I've already got it. Get rid of some of this ammo and stuff I don't need. I think I've made my point with the Matilda now, to be honest with you. Um, if you missed it, um, head back um, and um, to where I was in the morgue um, and you'll see um, it took me 17 shots to down a zombie in the head, I might add as well. Uh, don't want the shotgun either. Although I do want some wooden boards. Chowing out. In fact, these are the ones that were killing that officer earlier on, right at the start. Um, we insert the fuse here that you picked up in the break room. And there's our pal from the start. Picking out his misery finally. So that should be everything for this area. When you go back out here, you've usually got some, some friendly dudes ready to attack you again. So this is where we now need to use the key that we got here. Um, we can use it in a couple of ways. So I think the first thing to do, let, yeah, let's do it in the order I suppose it's meant to go in, I guess. Let's go around here first, and there's going to be a liquor in here. Uh, you can actually walk directly past lickers um, in the main game um, you can walk at any speed you can even walk at this speed just do not bump into them you can literally walk right next to them at this speed and they will not know you're there unless you bump into them um, I'll do this every time. Right. The next stop technically should be going up to the um, back up to where the art room is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through the library. Remember we unlocked the door earlier on but didn't go through it. Um, I'm going to go back through the library. I'm just going to do this bit now. The reason I'm doing this bit now is you don't want to be doing it when you've got Mr. X chasing you. So, you've now got the key for this door. annoying puzzle one I'm not good at this one five one five nope one five three one five three one five three eight four 
Five three, no one five two. What am I doing? One five two eight. One five two eight four. One five two eight four. Three. Two, there we go. Oh, that was painful. Sorry, guys. Get myself all confused. There we go. Anyway, those codes, as I mentioned earlier, are completely randomised. You can't just look them up, so... So once you've done that... So I've gone through all the showers and all that stuff again. I think this is actually maybe a slightly quicker route. Let's come back down here. Go back through this door you unlocked earlier. Be careful now, as there's actually two liquors out here. Right, that's the first one. There's actually one down here, I think. There's usually two. I don't know where the second one is. I'm sure it's around here. I could have swore there was two liquors down there, and then it's not just one. Unless the second one comes when Mr. X is chasing you. Either way, there's a liquor. And avoid him at all costs. Right. Now you can get this last bunch of bits in here. 203. 103. I'm not sure if there's any others. I don't think there is. One of your storage pouch upgrades. Obviously quite important. Um, okay. I'm going to discard that knife. Don't need it. So, how many? Ten bullets. Right, that's fine for now. Okay, so you want to get that bit done. Right, so you've actually technically done pretty much everything you can do for the minute. Oh, that was a terrible shot, Marcus. There we go. Damn it! I'll stop this, Lieutenant. I promise. Kept saying earlier on that we should have uh, put him out of his misery, didn't I? Anyway, let's take the magnum ammo that we spawned in earlier. Got so much stuff now. Actually, take some hand grenades. Yeah, that'll do it. And we go back up to the art room, which is through here. But we're not going into the art room, we're just going next to it. So remember, to the left there's actually a big gated bit. We can actually raise that gate now. And 
as you can see, I've already got it, but there's a Mr. Raccoon there. You can't go in there as that's Claire only play for it. Um, we don't go down there yet, but we do go down there after, so. actually get rid of the crank at this point as well and remember that I've already got the maximum amount of inventory space so you're gonna have to be when you're playing it if you're playing it properly you're gonna have to be a little bit more um, smart with your inventory management than I have been I've just been picking stuff up as I find it um, Sort of done a lunge for no reason there, I wasn't expecting it. Um, there's a few items in here to pick up. I can't remember if there's a Mr. Raccoon in here to be honest with you. There is one nearby, I think he's actually in that room, but you can't get in there um, as Leon, you get in there as Claire. If you come in the middle, there's a gear to find and you can't get out that way as the doors locked from the other side but we will come through there later and then can't combine can't combine blow and a blow don't know why I tried that stairs are snapped very useful Thought we got both in the head then for a second. Not quite. Always forget to do that on the way out, so I might as well do it now. Found the key. Right. And we get our first introduction to the guy that chases you now for the entire rest of the police station. Mr. X, the infamous. So, what you want to do first though is put out the freaking fire. You turn that valve downstairs. And then you turn this valve, and then it does that. Puts up fire. As Mr. X must be scared of fire or something. There he is. You actually get a trophy for knocking his hat off. Um, I would not advise shooting him. Usually, you run out there, um, do a big sort of um, loop, I guess, around him out on the rooftop. Um, and then come back through here is the safest way to do that. I should have really showed you that way instead of just shooting him in the face. But yeah, you basically backtrack as soon as you see him. Wait for him to come on the roof. Sort of lure him towards the stairs angle more than anything. Um, and then uh, run around him, basically. And the thing about Mr. X is, um, if you've got the setting on that gives the slightly better sound, um, like, 
um, per perception almost, like you can actually tell. I can't remember what it is now actually. I'll see if I can find it. I'm not sure if it's purely dependent on it, but I think if you've got real-time binaural, I think. I'm sure I've heard that mentioned before by someone. Um, I think it's that setting that enables you to sort of get a better sense for how just how close the bastard is to you. Because um, it's really useful to know how flipping close he is. The, the thing about... Um, the thing about Mr. X is actually that he, you can lose him fairly easily, um, but you need to do it carefully. If you if you run a lot, he will. F I think he does find you down here. If you run a lot, he'll find you. If you shoot. He'll find you quite quite quickly, so you need to be quite aware of when is a good time to be shooting. See if he hasn't found you in a room and is walking by. Sometimes it's better just to stand there and hold your breath almost and hope that he hasn't seen you. So now, I'm trying to remember what it is. Right, yeah, okay. So we need to go and get the crank now. I actually don't need these, right? But you can actually combine them to do that. I've got plenty of that as well. Now we need to go and get the crank. So if you remember earlier, if you've been watching long enough, and I appreciate you if you have, uh, if you remember earlier, we went and moved the bookcases in the library there is up there we've got a little bit of time um we moved the bookcases in the library where there was one we couldn't move and it requires a crank really um which is in this room that's part of the reason that i use those boards as well he can come in this room so i wouldn't dawdle at all uh, but you can kite him around the outside of the room. And the only way out of the room is the way you came in. Obviously you can go whichever way you want to get back to the library from this point. This thing will die. Oh. Oh. Take some more of them, are you? Um, so, did I get the stars badge? I did. Let's do that next. If you turn it round, you've got the USB dongle. And if you go up through the library, which again is the better way, I think. I don't like having to go through the showers every time. Seems like a long way to go a not so long distance. It's like a lot longer if you have to go up flights of stairs. Go and plug it into the computer. Use the computer. Take the dongle back out. And then re flip the switch, turn it back into a badge again, as you'll need that later. Pick up the magnum, of which I now have two, which I don't obviously need two, but I now have two. I'm going to just store one of them in the box. I think once I've made it out of the police station, um, I'm probably going to come off and uh, do something else for the night, but I'll pick up um, streaming this um, whenever I next can, to be honest. Uh, oh, library. 
I don't know where he is now, actually. So at this point, if you're going to start doing this library section, remember you moved some earlier, all you want to do is move everything over to the right after, after what you've already done. I'm not sure what that music is about. Sounds a bit ominous, but I don't hear Mr. X. You want to be careful as Mr. X can actually hit you while you're doing that, but for some reason I think he's proper lost us. Doesn't seem to have any idea where we are right now. Which is not something I'm going to complain about. Not that it matters, I can deal with him, but he, uh, under normal circumstances, can be quite awkward and I would not recommend. Um, I would not recommend standing there and shooting him. He can't come in this room, by the way. He cannot come in here. Um, so if you're playing and you're at this point and you're panicking and you're hearing footsteps like I've done in the past, um, don't worry about it. He actually can't come in here at all. This is where I'm proved wrong and he strolls in, but I'm almost positive he actually cannot come in this room. And there's a Mr. Raccoon there usually to get. I have him already. And you go upstairs and you grab the small gear out of here. And go back down the stairs. Gear. And we put it where the small gear was. See, it always sounds like he's about to bust into this room, but he doesn't. There we go. Fresh the old beverage while it's still not. I don't want to put the controller down because it's vibrating and it makes a racket when it's on my desk. Hope I don't have to write a report on this. And all the things you're going to worry about writing a report on, smashing up a bell tower in the middle of the zombie apocalypse, is probably not something I'd be worried about. someone else watching welcome new viewer thanks for joining I don't usually pick up on that but as I happen to be having a beverage and let's now pick up the box And goodbye, new viewer. <laughs> I think he's up here. Oh! <laughs> he is up here. As you can see, he gets pretty aggressive when he doesn't have his hat. Usually, you'd do some cheeky hat tipping gesture when he smacks you that hard in the face, but. And uh, that would probably have taken you to like red on your health under normal circumstances. So, let me get rid of. Don't need that. Don't need that either. Don't need that either. This is the bit I nearly always, always forget where I'm going on, right? But I know where I'm going now, right? So, you run back round here. Round here. 
around there. Where are they? Down there. Down hither. In there. Through here. Around. Okay. Um, around and down. So now you've got the other pa power panel part. You pro probably pretty much. Ah, uh, I always forget something in there. Um, but you can see when you've completed an area's well, not completed, but once you've got all the items in an area, it turns blue. Now, actually, you haven't got all the items in the star's office, but it's going to tell you that you, uh, you have for the moment. Um, so, it's now time to go back to the power panel. And you'll be glad you got rid of the things earlier. If you actually did, if you're playing this properly, you might not have. Check out actually. Yeah, that's what I want. Might be a good place to get the old um, the uh, achievement I want here, possibly. Right, I think doing this in as few moves as possible actually helps you to get an achievement of some sort. So just follow what I'm doing. Um, that one's right. There we go. I don't think I did any wrong moves there, so that should have done it for me. I don't think you can do it in fewer moves as you have to turn them. You can't choose which direction you turn the actual um, panels. Well, that I saw anyway. One permity boy. What are they after? And that's not good. Oh, I should call it fun. Done it. Not a bad place for it, is it really? So if you happen to have a grenade at that point, it might be worth learning around the corner first. You have to be careful though, as as you go past a certain point, Mr. X will chase you. So if you try and go around the back way, miss. Oh, there we are. Just give me a break. Damn it! So he's taking a pounding with magnum ammo. You do not want to get in his way in the real, in in a normal scenario. Saving your ass, that's twice. 
I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. You're gonna kill me. Nothing dies down here. Yeah, and this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it. Mm -hmm. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. You're all right. Freedom. But not for long. You got another nice, cramped, needed? stinky place after this. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. Roads out. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. Oh no, that is why I'm standing here later. What a mess. I said, don't move. I'm just passing through. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? Yes. They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. And that's why I'm looking for Annette Birkin. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. This is how we get to Annette. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee, thanks. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrellas controlled Raccoon City. Jesus! That an earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. What the hell? Stay shot. God only knows what's down here. Well, not only God, I know what's down there actually. I'm gonna end this, but I'll see how far I can get. Again? It's not too late to turn back. No chance. You're stuck with me to the end. Ugh. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there. Yeah. Leon, get out! 
thanks, I wasn't actually going to move before he said that. snap twice and then left straight away. Chew on that. You overgrown son of a bitch. Shake your raccoon. Yeah, yeah. Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. Yeah, thanks. Now, the God Mode cheat. Even though I've put player two on this as well and we haven't reloaded or anything like that so since let me get this straight. I'm not sure if it works like or not. To who? Um, or if Our I'd have to save it as uh, and then apply it again. They don't um, sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes I'm fairly confident I can get through it without um, <laughs> he says, I'm gonna save it. Um, if I can here. Just in case I blow this, as I will not enjoy having to go back too far. Um, should I fail? Um, we'll save that there. Um, and go through here. So this section You can run a net, but you You actually hide. get a trophy for doing it um without using your pistol at all. It's secret weapon time. Um Baby. Just need to be careful with the zombies. The only problem is, is that <laughs> is that um, there is a raccoon here um, that you need to obviously shoot the raccoon. So you actually, if you want to do both without having to do too much backtracking, you, there's a save point quite near the raccoon that you should probably try and use. That is actually probably the best I've ever done that. It's all about just waiting for them to start running at you, really. 
just lowering them out. There we go. Um, Got you now. This bit is always tense bomb moment. I usually get it fine every time. This is where I fuck it up, but it's this still nonetheless pretty turn. scary to hear Mr. X's thumping footsteps right behind you, and all you've got to use is a freaking EMF type tool. I always stand right next to it so I can jump through it immediately. So I know I just saved it. Um, and on your playthrough you might want to not, if you're trying to do it in under three playthroughs, if you're trying to do it properly. I wouldn't advise saving as often as I have. Um, but I've got this cheat that I can use later to just re reset the save count. So I'm going to save it there. Because if you do this whole section without um, without using your gun at all, uh, you get an, uh, a trophy, which we're very close to finishing right now. Um, so the if you want to get the raccoon, it's there, all right right next to the incinerator I'm not gonna do it just yet as I can't remember if I got that trophy yet on this in fact if you give me a second uh, I'll do it after basically what you'd do is you'd reload the save after when you like and just um, click it uh, shoot it sorry uh, once you've got the other raccoons book as long as you keep that save there um, the because it all counts towards your overall Real save time. progress, uh, your overall you progress. It doesn't matter whether you complete the game to lock it in, if that makes any sense. Um, I forget, I need to do that one first. I've literally never buggered this up yet, so we'll see. Oh, no, we're good, I think. Uh, yeah, essentially. I mean, you could even save it after doing that bit if you don't want to have to do that every bloody time. Um, but, yeah. You can come back at any point and get that one last raccoon, basically, and you won't have to redo the whole rest of the game or anything like that. It'll just immediately pop the trophy if you've got all the other um, raccoons up to that point. So, I'm going to carry on and just... Um, in fact, no, I'm not. Right, I'm going to pause it a second. I'm going to um, turn off the game capture just two ticks and have a quick check to see if it's on there. Um, one slick super spy so I did actually already do this part um, so technically I'm gonna go back I'm gonna I'm just gonna go back and get that um, but once you um, ah, I walked into it <laughs> looks like it doesn't matter anyway I already got the trophy Enough but once you get to this point um, and then go to continue It'll pop up with a trophy, I think, um, after Leon gets up here. But I've already got it, so you won't Ada? see that pop up. Where are you? Um, I've not gone much further than this on my game. I've done it multiple times on my partners, but I've not got much further than this on, on mine. Um, which is how I've actually got this trophy. I haven't gone past the next boss on my on my actual um, profile.
Um, That's a pleasant smell. Uh, okay. Oh, I, mean, I know where I'm going on this actually, to be honest, I'm not, not daft. I just, uh, I'll come back down there later anyway, so there's no point getting that. Okay. I was just thinking about ammo and things like that. Um, this guy doesn't get up. Isn't it? I always used to think there was a guy that would get up around there, but it's always wrong it seems. came from around there just okay uh yeah we're going this way i can't bother going picking up random bits of ammo this is actually where you start off on one of the survivors modes, so it's Hunk. That's another trophy. I should probably live stream that. Try it myself. These G adults, man, are freaky things. Like Blakey. hit that in time I wouldn't have had any of those fired at me but it's useful for you guys to see that it fires these little demon spawn things out at you stop I right, basically jump out the water at you if you don't shoot them first not that mad it wouldn't have done anything to me but cable car still don't want to get hit do I I can never find it as it's kind of sneaky over, over on that chair, but I, I don't like leaving rooms without having emptied them. It kind of bugs me. I don't know why. I don't. Li I literally could have run through this entire game picking up nothing um, other than the key items, but I just wanted to show everything that you should pick up, I guess. And the order that you should do it in for the most part. I know I've made a couple of slight backtracks that I probably shouldn't have done, but... Virus. Place it. So, note there, there's a note on the board. Bishop goes in this one. Knight goes in this one. Uh, shouldn't be anything. Pawn stays in where it is. Get a map off the wall. Uh, ramp. Oh, 
Move it. We'll go over to the left first, so we have to come over to the right anyway. Desk down here as well. Back up. Uh, let's combine those, move that over, combinations on the side, so that's left 2, right 12, left 8. Out, there's zombies down here. God damn it. Some of the worst shooting ever, man. Just shoot him straight up the crease. Yeah, good. Okay. So. This is the next bit we need to go to. Oh, that's what we get put on the desk. Magnum shots to that eyeball, by the way. Let's see, I've done loads of things. There's one around the corner here as well. Some Magnum all on this ledge. It's good. I don't know how I feel like it's random when it's there. Sometimes it's doing the hive is there. Another raccoon. Oh, 
do that. This puzzle's pretty easy to work out as well. So you just take the coin plug from there, pop it in here, and then you head up the stairs, grab the king plug from this one, Ooh. like so, don't think there's anything else up here, you drop down, go back through the ult, Unlock this door. Grab the king plug again. Grab the queen plug. Put the queen plug back in here. Put the king plug in here. And come back round here. Grab the coin plug. Come back in here. And come back up the stairs. I feel like I forgot to pick something up. Well, I haven't really actually. It would have just been something random like ammo. Technically, I've got the flamethrower and I've got the two plugs I wanted, but there's probably some ammo sitting in there, which is why it's not shown as completed. And then this time, you don't head quite back the way you came, you head to the left hand side. And be careful when you get back to the ladder or near to it because you'll get another G adult drop down from somewhere, wherever the hell that comes from. There it is. I always tell when it's died as it makes that weird screechy noise. If you've got enough inventory space, you can actually just, instead of going back to drop off these plugs, um, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna discard this, obviously you don't wanna do that, but I'll drop these plugs off in any other items usually, um, in the, in the uh, room with the chest puzzle in it, but I'm just gonna go straight onwards. Um, so you'd usually go back, drop your stuff off, then come back down here again and drop that lever and go through this gate once it's open to another G adult will come out of that gap on the side there. while typing back. <laughs> so I'm on there, got the lift, watch out for the sneaky boy down there. He'll get up and give you grief if you don't shoot him first. This bit of a uh, Roll of film, then discard, anything you don't need, 
I wouldn't really advise discarding anything on a normal run through to be honest though. I'm going to grab that now as we do need it. No. Idiot. I'm going to put that back. It's not vital. But I want to grab it anyway. There's a couple of bits in this room, so I might as well just grab them. Yeah. Ink ribbons and some. That's all that's in that room. But I just wanted to grab it anyway. I'm going to discard them, but it's just so you know that they're there. this room you want now if you're trying to do a quick run you don't really want to I mean you can do this I don't know if you can discard that as you don't if you used it up now I'm not sure if doing this is advisable on a speed run um, I mean you could, it'll be helpful for some of the stuff you get maybe you get the jazz festival flyer at least if you're trying to get all the lore stuff for that achievement um, but essentially you're about to head back to the police station here um, if you're quick and you know where you're going then it might be alright to do um, I'm just not so sure that it's a particularly good idea if you're trying to do a particularly quick run um, Now get rid of the police. In fact, do you even get it back out of the thing? Yeah, you do. You can get rid of it anyway, though. There you go. Um, you don't go through there. That was where you done the boss. And now, when you head up here, there's a reason that when you first go into this. A uh, little secret room that there's like a, uh, a valve, valve thing. So I always wondered why there was one there. It felt like it was for something, and it is because you technically can't get out there now as it's resealed itself. But you can with that. So I'm gonna put these chest pieces away for the moment. Um, I'm gonna get the shotgun back out so I can attach this stop. I'm not sure do we get any more don't think we did just yet. Gotta store that. Oh don't think Mr. X is here this time round. Um, we're essentially now wanting to head to the places we never got to um, the first time we were here. So now there's two hiding places and the first one I probably should just get um, the upstairs one first but I'm going to go and get the downstairs one first because I don't think there's anything else downstairs. I do want to know what the heck this... See it's a diamond key but what is it? What door? 
do I unlock with this that I haven't already unlocked? I don't think the storage room. I think that's a heart key. I might check it out quickly, but I could swear that it's not the diamond key that you need for that. See, that's why it's actually quite beneficial at times to uh, to check the locked doors, even though you know it's locked, because it will later on then tell you what key you need for it. Uh, so that's one of the hiding places. You can't get that early, like without checking the film. So we've got a Cheshire Hunter achievement yes, uh, for that. Don't think that's the way we want to go. But we want to go up the fire escape, I think. to the set I don't think that this door is the diamond key but what baffles me and I, this this kind of baffled me the last time as well is that I don't think there's any other doors I can use it on unless it's this one no see that's the heart key I, I knew that see so that's the heart key can't get into the chief's office, I don't think, or can I? Maybe you can now, unless that's the heart one as well. See, that's heart key as well. See, heart key. So the, the heart key ones are Claire's. So, looking at it, ah, uh, I know where it is. Just clicked. There's one room I forgot to take you to. So if you really do want to get absolutely everything, um, you should have like, I missed this earlier, so I apologise. See when you're going through the police station. As soon as you've got the diamond key, you can actually unlock a room. Um. You can unlock a room near the armory. I'll show you that just now. You can tell this is definitely not a f like uh, a quick run through. I, I like to be quite thorough in my games. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can cut out. This is the room. I always forget this room because it's attached to a room that isn't run by very often. There we go. And that actually gives you another um, another roll of film so that will help you with your achievements. So just make sure you don't forget that room. See before you, when you've got the diamond key, uh, make sure you grab that. You can come back and do it as I have, but I think you have to go a little bit too much out of your way. Whereas I think you actually go past that with the diamond key a lot earlier than this point. I could be wrong. But I'm almost sure that you run past it earlier than this. Now, it's... I don't remember you being there. Now it's time to go up to the star's office. But I will do that after going into the dark room again. We'll go up through the showers. As we just picked up another roll of film. Yep, 
so we already got that. So I guess if you was doing it properly and you didn't already know all the codes, you, you wouldn't have been able to open that locker through, unless, through uh, blind luck um, before getting that roll of film. However, I already know all the codes. Plus they're online. And then you come to this desk. Wind box, and there's actually a roll of film in there as well, so you have to click on the the uh, draw twice. Red dot sight for the red dot sight for the magnum. There's actually now nothing else uh, for us in the police station bar going back to the dark room one last time for our new roll of film i don't think you get the achievement just yet because there's one roll of film in claire's run through um so make sure that you get that and make sure that you um develop it and then i think uh, there's an achievement you get for it of some sort or at least um some kind of um challenge unlock I think so now I can get rid of this key that hassled me last time as so I forgot where it was I needed to put that right. so now we just head back to the sewers not that way <laughs> scenery a bit there and you're actually ready now to do the next bit of the sewers which is pretty much the boss <laughs> um, sewers is fairly quick as you can see I'd say the majority of the time playing this game is going through that flipping police station the rest of the time um, and is uh, fairly short really if you know where you're going and what you're doing the police station is definitely the more time-consuming aspect. Well, out of the zones, it's the one that takes the most time. The sewers doesn't take as long, and the um, the next section doesn't take quite as long either. Right, so now that we've got all the parts we need. You can actually get rid of this if you use it here. Janelle you know, might just go and do it. So if you if you're like me and you have O C D about getting rid of stuff, I wouldn't advise doing this, there's absolutely no need to do it. Um, but if you want to get rid of your items, like once they've outlived their usefulness, um, you could technically come down here. Is it here? No, it's going to be up here. Yeah, see. Just a couple of zombies. I don't often come this way, I like to go the quick route usually. But I'll show you where to get rid of the uh, the handle. It's actually down here. Whoa, you're a bit of a, a dodgy boy. There we go. Uh, it's actually down here somewhere. <laughs> Where'd it go? Probably wherever he just came from, to be honest with you. It didn't look like you could go any further, but I think you can. Yeah, there you go. Um... Yes, yeah, this bit here. And it will just take you back round to where you need to be anyway, but it's just a longer way to get to where you want to get to just for the sake of getting rid of an item. 
um, which is kind of pointless really, but I thought I'd show you it anyway. So now all we need to do is the chess puzzle again. So we actually should have technically just come back through that gate um, and come up these stairs after doing the whole elevator thing. You just hop on the elevator like, and uh, come back through the, the gate there after a little bit of water. It's a much shorter distance and you get back to the room quicker. But me being me likes to be a bit completionist about stuff. Right, so let's get these chest parts back out again. Fine, let's uh just in case I'm gonna upgrade the other lightning hook. I think you get something for upgrade and stuff anyway. So it goes on the right wall. At least the first time you play it. It changes each time. Uh, the second time. King. Queen. Pawn. Bishop. Rook. Knight. Okay. Almost there, Ada. Right, so there's a couple of herbs here in passing. So there's one here. One here. And there's a red one in there, so don't combine them. Like, don't don't discard or use them before you combine them. If you've got room from that is. as you can next to this shutter and next to this vent find yourself right in the corner there <clears throat> so eventually get bored of shoving his hand through a hole in the ceiling and um, start attacking this place There's actually a cha an achievement you can get here, so I'm gonna probably get slapped a few times trying to do it. It might be better trying to do it on a different difficulty setting, but I'm gonna try and get as many trophies as I can from the one run here. Blasting him with magnum shots until I feel like he's had enough. Basically, if you do a whole lot of damage to this guy, and I mean a lot of damage, I, c I couldn't tell you when you know you've done enough. You just kind of, if you've got enough ammo and enough decent ammo, you kind of just know. I don't know how many times you, maybe it's based on the amount of times you get into his knees before you do it. Wait, you can hit that switch again. You 
you can hit that switch again to hit him with the crane when he's sort of in this area. Now, I wouldn't... I wouldn't do it until you've absolutely smashed him with damage. Do as much damage as you can before stopping him in this general zone, in this section. And then, uh, and then hitting the crane button and then uh, trying to smash into him. You get an achievement for knocking him down the hole the first time. If, if you don't do enough damage to him first, um, it will take two crane hits. Probably done enough. Now I, got you. I hope so. Oh no, it was me. And the last time I saved it was when. Nah, that's me for the night, I think. <laughs> I was going to finish up, but I will need to now get back to this point before I redo the live stream, I think. Um, it's not a major issue, but that's completely my fault. It's getting on a little bit. It's like nearly 9 o'clock and I've been on this solid for hours, so I completely bugged that up. Um... As you can see, God Mode does not exclude you from strange things like that. Um, they're kind of like, you can't escape those. It's from like normal hits only. See at the end, if you played it, at the end, uh, the attack from the final boss on Leon's mode anyway. Um, you can still get one hit by him. Um, so, I think that was not bad. It took me ages and it's a bit completionist, but I will finish this up um, another time. I'll start the live stream from pretty much where we left off here. I think that'd be interesting. But thanks for thanks for watching, guys, and thanks if anyone actually watches this in um, after the fact. Um, I appreciate every view I get. Um, I don't get a lot of them, especially on my live streams, but I do appreciate anyone that actually takes the time to watch my stuff. So, thank you very much, guys. Uh, have a good evening, and I will see you again soon, I hope. Hope well. See you, bye.